Yo, right, we're back for another rewire. We've got a special, I wouldn't say guest, someone that's come to help us out for a few days. That I'm paying before anyone moans at me with that. So it is Amy the Spark or Placeman Pat. So Ames has come across to help us uh, for a couple of days here. This is the property. It is a two bed, semi detached uh, house that's having an extension on the back. So we've come to rewire it. It's not very big, uh, but we're gonna run through the processes. So this is gonna day one and do a few videos on this of the stages very much like I did last year or the year before when I ran loads of flexi conduit in someone's garage. Beautiful job. So let's run through, it's gonna be a talking bit for a little bit. So everyone that doesn't like me talking, just skip. Prepping it, prepping the houses. So pull everything that's loose, whatever. We're gonna put a socket here. This one's staining because we've had to, we've asked the customer to use the Wi-Fi because there's no phone signal whatsoever. I'm stuck in this corner, two here, one here. Sofas are all piggybacked on each other, covered in some sheets. We've got all the matting. All this carpet is being changed. All this wood panel is coming off. So the only thing that we need to do, if we want to run a socket down here, I'm going to multi tow one of these out, pull this out. The rest of the back of the house all being dropped. There's a big extension going on at some point. So we're not doing anything here. We pulled everything that we need to out, sheeted that up, tellies, all the works. Same with the kitchens, anything we've got to do here is take these wall covers off. Let me turn the switch off. So this is a stud wall. The cable isn't that bad. And uh, I did say the customer told me to go around and test everything, but they just moved in. They were like, no, we want it fully rewired because we're having an extension this way and that way. So this is what we're doing. They've had a new boiler fitted in here recently. Uh, so processes, I was run upstairs to Adam and Amy. I'm coming upstairs. Delicious. It's exactly the same car that Adam's got in his bedroom. Isn't it, Adam? Yeah. Is it like being at home? It's not a lie. Say hi, Amy. Hello. 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 So, what are you guys doing? Pulling some stuff out of the way. Bedside tables. Oh, it's an old one, isn't it? Yep. One here, one either side of the bed. And then that's. Oh, yeah, you're moving that for the socket in the lounge, aren't you? Yeah. Socket here. The fuse board access is going to come through here under the stairs. Bathroom, and you guys haven't seen this, it's the old style bathroom heater and what oh, Hey, the heating element around the outside. So it's four lights going in here and an LED mirror feed. Turn that off. And just a couple of sockets going in the bedroom. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. And on the top of that, we're going to do an armor cable that's going to run outside of the house over onto this wall for the time being because there's a big summer house slash shed slash garden slash garage that's yeah. going to be fitted at some point so that's the process come in pack everything away cover it up the customers have moved out for the week it's monday today i want to get done by friday i think it's very reasonable we can we've got the wall chaser we've got amy we've got adam so should go well uh what we'll do first is obviously we pack the stuff away we'll start marking out the boxes and then we'll get the chaser out let amy have a go with the Mataba. If you don't know Amy, by the way, she's been on a, few, a video before that I did with a rewire with Sam for, for Monday Club. And uh, yeah, we will. So uh, let's get on. Just getting the tools out. I bought a new multi tool the other day. Bought, by the way. I brought the multi tool the other day before people have a go at me. Actually, I bought it the other week from Screwfix. And I was on holiday, one not I? And I text Adam saying, Oh, it's been there a week and a half. Can you go and pick it up for me? Do they give you any chip for it? Or do they just give it you? Uh, yeah, he tried to say, give me the card, but I just showed the text. Air yeah. sound. Uh, roll and a stroll. Oh, should, we get, should we get some roll and stroll down or not? It's worth it on the main paths. In the lounge? You've used roll and a stroll? Yeah, do you, yeah, so, do you even know not, what it is? I'm not a savage. <laughs> do you know what it Let is? Let roll and stroll. <laughs> yeah. Hang on, we've got an open packet down there. Okay. Uh, Metabo, we've got some boxes, laser, our PPE box that Adam's kindly labelled up. There we go. God, if you'd have spelt that wrong, that would have been good. <laughs> Sorry? No, no, I'm not going to show anyone that. Adam's went a bit funny with the stickers the other day and started. Literally, you lay, we've had a bit of a change around from the video the other day, so cable ties, lasers, day fuses, drill bits. Oh, yeah, tart. And we reorganised this because we managed to get rid of two full boxes, didn't we, which were there, compiled it all, and we just doubled up on a few stickers just so we know what we're doing. Oh, it's my bike helmet. Um, so yeah, 
We've batteries to charge, we've got some new uni lights that we need to charge up and stick on our heads. We're going to, well, when you go in the loft, I'm not showing anyone the loft hatch, it is, it's about this big, the loft hatch. So Adam's going to have fun. Don't say anything gross. Uh, here's the board. <laughs> this is what we're playing with. So if we're running the tails internally, because the boiler's here, the board's going in this cupboard, we're either going to go up into the floorboards with some armoured, uh, 25 mil armoured or 60 mil armoured. If I put, a, I probably will be putting a KMF switch in here. But to my knowledge, if you run through the fabric of the building, this thing will need to have its own RCD on it as well. But we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. Just running some paths as they are income are coming all around. And also, because they're having an extension, they asked my opinion on it. This the back of the house is all being dropped. But with the back of the house being dropped, you can see you've got the joint and the feed going across the next door as well with the overhead line. So they asked my opinion. I said the only thing we could do is what is our area's Western Power DNO. Let's get in contact with them and they're gonna come out and hopefully reroute it whether or not they go higher level or they do a new run-in from the pole, which is absolutely miles away over there. To be fair, is it tacked off next door's house? No, it's not, it's just looped across. So yeah, let us know what, what's the situation with that, please. Right, we're gonna do that first. Adam's multi-tooling in there, getting them panels off the wall, so just hang fire. Amy's got two to do over there, she can never go with the big ass wash one. <laughs> I, can't, <laughs> I can't even hold it up. It's ridiculous. <laughs> I've not even used that yet, is it any good? I've drilled an outside light. I'll tell you in a minute, I'll probably knock this whole wall down. And I'm going <laughs> to just do this one. But what we're going to do first to the guys watching, the apprentices, 5.5 bit, we run around the edges. So I'll get that bit done and I'll show you what you do after. Think of the wood, doesn't it? Adam's just whizzing that off. Ah, that's hot. <laughs> oh, did you touch the blade? <laughs> yeah, I touched the back of the back of my leg, yeah. Uh, it's weird, isn't it? Yeah. Literally, just stick a screwdriver in and just popped off. Sound. So, this is getting damped and bored. So, I, if, I, if I don't point it at you, I need to look. Oh, so, all this so is getting ripped off. This is all coming off. Uh, so, but we only need to get access to uh, what we need to get to. So, I put a squiggle there and a squiggle there. Nice hoodie, bro. Uh, we will just put this straight on, but because we're using thirty-five mil patrices, add. Can you hear me? Yeah. Um, we'll just sink them in a bit because the last job I got a lot of stick for in Telford was I put them all in the. Oh, I need to do this. I put them all in the um, ladies' nail room screwed them flat and everyone was like oh you can't screw 35 mil patches back but the builder told us it was all getting uh, boarded out as in but he was beading it out and then boarding on top yeah because everyone else was like if i did that to my plaster he would just leave them proud i wasn't very clear on the video okay then mate in five minutes he doesn't know <laughs> he can't hear us <laughs> sound uh amy's just drilled around that i've done my bit you've not used these are the normal sds bits we never go with that one. But now they're drilled round. Uh, we just follow the profile of the holes around. And then that'll allow us. But obviously we're making sure we're going 35 mil deep. How, how's the drill? Um, it is a beast. It's good um, because it feels like there's not much effort needed. Yeah. Because of this bit. I've... One cool thing as well. It's not, it's not vibrating your hand. Yeah. I know, my one is. <laughs> just you just did that did on that. camera. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean. <laughs> Um, this is where you pull that collar back, the end pops off, and it comes with a. Um, Which means? Pull the bottom one. If you pull that, that oh, pops okay. out, and it comes with a chuck attachment for drill bits, as oh, in like wood bits. Okay. So I drilled some joists with it the other day. Oh God, I've got a bad wrist, you have to do it. Why have uh, you got a bad wrist, mate? <sighs> I still. <laughs> I've still got a bad wrist from when I passed him a rubble tub and it's still affecting me. Um, also, I got these ages ago. We've not used them yet, but unless I drill a hole directly centre in the middle for this centre bit to go through, 
How is that? Have I set this up wrong? So please let me know because I can't put that in because I need to go in 35 mil with this. So is this just for the profile? Please let me know because I'm not. I don't want to do it here and and coming here. Do you know what I mean? There's no other way to use that. I know, good to use. What's that? Where's the rubble tool? <laughs> Yeet! Right, so I've just gone round with my bit. I was gonna get some bits out of the way. Set the uber up, because what we like to do, we'll get these done. I'm gonna get that lined up ready. Sorry, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> and uh, give it the hoover, give it a clean, and then we'll get the chasers up with the Matava, but just sort of try and clean as and when you can. That's all pulled out and drilled in and grommeted with a super grommet. Super grommet has got bigger wings on the top, so it can't be pulled through. Measure it from the edge. We've had the laser because I left my six, six foot level at home. We've lasered pencil marks, so that'll be my outside edge for my chaser to go in. I'm just ringing the customer in a minute to see. Adam, shut up. <laughs> Ring the customer to see if we're keeping the COVID or not. If we're not, we can just slice it out so we can get in there. We will uh, just drill behind it. Maybe we should do the same, set the laser up, bang that across. The batteries are running flat as well, so bear with. Uh, yeah, we'll get the chaser out. Okay, right, uh, okay, uh, pencil lines up, Matabo's out, drawing some lines on the front. With Matabo you push it, the coven is going to come out, but we'll only ever go up to this far and just chase the rest by hand. I've chased this bit out now, I'm just going to do the top. Because it's a triple blade, you'll get a bit of little bit is still in there so we just go in with a little chisel bit knock them off make them a bit more flush I'm trying to film that at the same time like that so i'm just going to carry on with that amy's having a go now thank you bless me go on then adam's joined us he's doing the same thing in his little corner Amy's on hers, took the top out, took the top out. So James, the electrician, I'll put a picture up here, put it on Instagram. We have used all round band before to clip oval conduit back, but he did a, a cool little thing the other day. So what we've done, I've put that in, we chiseled out, we've done a bit of a hoover-ish, and I've drilled three holes in the center on the way up, five holes on the all round band, which is Amy's just snipped, using the bolt croppers. How big did you cut the coating? Just quite a light line. Just as and when, it's all coming down mate. So just oh. do what you need to do just to get your chase up. And uh, once this goes in, like so, we can just bend that round, give it a little tap on that, and that job's a good one. So Adam's taking these off now. I'm gonna run around, just set my blade. We're gonna multi-tool it, but I might as well use this, put it in the van. Just set it a slight bit uh, lighter, not lighter, um, shallower than the wall, just to get these out. You can do it on all of them. And then we can uh, just chase some boxes in the walls in here as well. Amy, set the pole up, laser on. We've set the laser up here because it's a bit more awkward with measurements off the floor here and here. But I'll well, go on, Amy. Let you explain. No. Yeah, go on. No, I'm not good at this like you. Well, what size patches are you using? 35 mil. And what's the purpose? Oh, I've already said this earlier, haven't I? I don't know. Yeah, no, that we're sinking it in the wall. Just what? 15 mil, that, just yeah, so it can be dabbed mil. better. Anyway, so Amy's just doing that. I'm gonna. I've already just tidied up my area, and then I forgot the light switch. So we have two way here coming through for the lounge. Adam's just waiting again because I'm on the camera and he makes the noise as usual. Isn't that right, Adam? Yep. <laughs> Carry on. Oh well. <laughs> right, so we're going to do kitchen first. Lounge is done, dining room's nearly done. Adam's taking some lights down badly. Uh, we'll keep them, they're retro. Uh -oh. As old as Amy now. Oi! Sorry, sorry. Uh, for some reason, this house was loved to be boarded, so this isn't just like ply, this is the same as the ceiling. 
uh, someone's wallpaper over and fill the gaps so we had a bit of a, a struggle trying to get the wall units off uh sock it in there and the patches wasn't even fixed do the cooker so we're just going to multi-tool to be fair i'm not even going to multi-tool it i'm just going to circular saw that up actually no i might multi-tool because the circular saw absolutely covered me earlier so uh, saw an hour, it. no thank you We'll get that out, we're going to do a drop down and that will continue our legs backwards and back up. Bless him. I know. What? It's not annoying at all, that is it? <laughs> so we found right there is the earth running to the oil, gas even. That's what that is. Is it? Yeah, that's what it used to be like way, way back in the day. Uh, it's the same thing we've got in the, that's the dining room, isn't it? Dining room. So we're gonna put cooker ISO here, which is away from the hob. Normal double socket's gonna go there. We found the cable that then traces across to a double socket in there, which then goes across from there to here. But we're gonna do one for the extractor. So we'll do a single socket up top, bring it down, into a cross, down and around. So get, the, get these ones up, yeah. Yeah. And get that one up over there. Yeah. yeah, okay. Right, we're upstairs now because there's not a lot. I honestly thought there was someone behind me. There's a mirror in the hall. <laughs> that scared me. Um, Amy and Adam are going to take over on the video now. Uh, they're going to go while I go and do stuff in the other room. But Amy's going to do film stuff for the day that she's going to put on her channel. So I'll link it below and probably. I'll put it in the top comment. I'll pin it in the top comment, Amy's channel. So go check it out. But there you go, guys. Don't break it. Oh, thanks. Right. How do you, this is like right in my face. How'd it's you... not that close. Once you feel it, if you turn around and look at Adam, you'll see what I mean. Yeah, it's that on super zoom. It's yeah. not as close as you think. That's alright then. But arm's length is fine, but you have got little arms. Okay. <laughs> okay. Adam. What are we doing? Uh, right, so basically what we're doing is, we've got a board up over there, so you can see the joist. Oh, yeah. Okay, so this is our access point as well, downstairs. And we know our joists are going this way. It's pretty much down the middle, so... Because the nails are quite hard to see in here, but I've managed to find them. So there's one there, and one there. Um, I'm going to cut it on a bit of an angle, because... Even though the nails aren't in a line, which was my head in. I don't know if the joist is more that way or this way, or... Okay. So, I'm just going to cut it on a bit of an angle, which is fine. So we're going to cut them here because we've got that socket, yeah, the socket just below. below there and then the switch will be just somewhere around that corner I think. Yeah, just on that one there where the moisture is. Yeah. We reckon. But we'll okay. have a look. We'll cut them up and then we'll uh, come back to you. Okay. Right. <laughs> hold, hold it off for me. Like, no, not like that, but like... <laughs> not like, not like so they're on the ceiling, but... <laughs> um, so, yeah, I've got this board up and... Here's our original lighting feeds. Um, this is for the hallway switch. We're going to reuse this, uh, the chase down here, um, and run a two core and earth and a three core and earth for two way lighting to the landing. Um, this must go to the light, living room light. Um, and over here, Adam is about to. Yeah, this one up for the socket. Yeah. So yeah, we'll, suck it in the lounge. we'll get this one up and then, yeah, we'll get to our next day. Right, comes to the sponsor bit. Thank you, Tradeify, for sponsoring the video. Both myself and Amy are both sponsored by Tradeify. Uh, we are. We are, we are. Uh, on my channel, obviously, being a Sparks vlogging, vlogging channel, would you say? Yeah. Influencer. Gross. <laughs> Great. <laughs> and uh, Amy does all the stuff with uh, other women in the trades. Women in the trades. Uh, do all the little podcast stuff. Well, it's podcast, but it's obviously, it's on everything else as well, though, isn't it? Yeah. Apple, yeah, Spotify, everything. Oh, yeah. I'm not on Spotify. Are you not? No, it's too not, it's too whizzy you're not for big me. Time like me. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> so obviously, all you guys know I use the Tradeify app. Uh, myself and Amy both use it regular, uh, regularly, regu reg regularly. We'll cut that bit out. All we, the time. we both use it all the time, <laughs> all regularly. The time. And uh, it's helped me manage my jobs and grow the business really from since using it to now. Obviously, YouTube's helped a massive part in it, but it's helping me schedule stuff and plan stuff in advance where beforehand it was right on the back of my hand mm. and forgotten about and not replying to customers. But now as well, one of the cool things I've not spoken about is the to-do list. 
So the to-do list for myself would be scrap of paper or back of the hand jobby when you've got a phone call. Uh, but what I do is get a lot of customers myself, if they're ringing me up as while I'm driving, obviously it's hands-free in the van, uh, I get them just to whiz me across an email or a text with their name, telephone number. And I can then transfer that across to a to-do list rather than adding a customer. It's right at the beginning, it's very simple, it's just a, you need to do this, it'll remind you every day with it, with a little bullet point. Uh, it then helps you, once you've got the customer's details in full, you can transfer it to a customer, do a quote, do an invoice, all that sort of stuff. So thank you Tradeify, I'll put all the links below for the stuff, uh, go check it out and um, start filling out your to-do list. Uh, oh, I've got all this, I've got the whole run off the tracks. So oh, good lad. Oh, bless this, him. This one, um, she didn't want to come on, so I was going to let you have a play with that. I'm just drilling. So we've just been filming some sort of me and Amy for her channel outside and Adam's been up here by himself being a good little egg. Look at that mate, fair play. Uh, I'm going to end the video here. I'll be filmed tomorrow or the day after. There should be three videos, so we're going to do some stuff up here tomorrow. Adam and Amy are going to go to the loft. Oh, no. Nope. Ah! Did you not go to the loft? I don't feel well. I feel an illness coming on for tomorrow. I won't, it's, no, it's not tomorrow. I'll tell you which day. Okay. I won't tell you which day. It's tomorrow. It's definitely tomorrow. <laughs> That's fine. He loves the loft, that's fine. <laughs> and uh, we'll get some more footage of doing a bit up here, but this is the loft hatch. That, that's the size of my hand. Okay. Yeah, Adam's going to So, Adam's so I, I definitely won't feel there. My head wouldn't feel my head that. I'm sorry, uh, I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. It's true. It's rude. Uh, God, I keep wiping my hat. You know when you wipe your face? <laughs> um, so yeah, anyway, I'll, uh, thanks for watching guys, and we'll see you on the next one. You got, you got to say what Adam says. I knew he said that, anyway. Mm. Wow. Bye. 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 <laughs>